About a decade ago, I had the great privilege of being able to join a, an indigenous shamanic tribe in Mexico. Uh, now, this particular tribe is called the Wiradica. Um, now, they survived, you know, over 500 years of, of colonization and with their culture very much still intact, largely by kind of hiding away up in the mountains for most of that time. And uh, they make use of peyote cactus, which is a, a psychedelic cactus containing mescaline. And archaeological evidence from that region seems to suggest that people in that area have been taking this psychedelic cactus for at least five and a half thousand years. So they're probably one of the oldest kind of continuously using psychedelic tribes on the planet. Uh, and as I said, I had the great privilege of, of joining them. Uh, I was invited to go and do some work with them. And they took me on a pilgrimage to various sites uh, around northern Mexico. And on one this particular occasion, we spent three hours climbing up a mountain to do an all night peyote vigil. And uh, I was following one of these indigenous guys. It was a very old chap right at the front. And he was climbing up this mountain like a racing snake. I mean, he was, he was kind of wiggling his way up there faster than certainly any of us gringos and, and faster than most anybody I've seen. And uh, he got to the top after about three hour arduous climb. And he immediately sits down, takes out his tobacco, uh, rolls his own homegrown tobacco in, in a maize leaf and, and asks me for a light. And I, I gave him a light and he, he smokes his cigarette. And uh, we spent the night in this, this peyote vigil. And he sat there, he looks like a stone, you know, we're, we're up all night on the top of this mountain. And uh, I even thought he was dead at certain points. Uh, but he would kind of punctuate the, the darkness of the night occasionally by singing these really ancient ancestral songs, uh, talking about his journey on, on these kind of peyote pilgrimages. And uh, sometime about four o'clock in the morning, I also heard this kind of sound uh, as he opened up a can of beer in the middle of the night and I was extremely jealous because I'd been up for hours at this point and was quite thirsty uh, but I didn't begrudge him you know drinking his his kind of sneaky beer in the middle of the night um, and I got talking to him and he talked about how he'd spent so much time on, on pilgrimage walking like a month at a time across this baking hot freezing cold at night desert to go and collect the, the peyote and then spending another month walking back with their peyote to share with their community. And, and this, this cactus is very much at the core of their community and their entire culture. Um, and, and whilst talking to him, he revealed the fact that he was actually 97 years old, uh, which is no small thing. And, and he really was, you could see it in his eyes. He was absolutely ancient. And yet he was able to climb to the top of this mountain, have a cigarette, drink a beer, stay up all night singing, um, in a way in which we, as gringos, really struggled to do. So they really were quite astonishing people and it really very much inspired me.